So Elias might have actually ate a human. I think it's just heavily hinted that he did in the past, but he is an ancient monster. These urges come and go. I doubt that he's actually going to eat a human in front of us. But if he actually did in this anime, if we saw that, that would be wild. That'd be kind of raw. Now, the topic of Chisi going to college is still going. We still have... No, we carved out the staff. I think we're ready to go now. Let's begin today's reaction, though. How could this elegant looking... I was going to say beast, but doesn't really help with the argument if I say, how could he eat a human? Without much thought, he really just did it on a whim? Things are getting way complicated now. Dead eyes. Such dead eyes. But things have changed in the last couple episodes. We've been really making steps forward. You don't speak much either. You gotta talk to her, man. Mm -hmm. What are they? Hideous. He's not gonna tell us? What? What's the two emotions that he's feeling? Oh, it's so cute how Ruth is also sleeping with the different dragons around too. Oh. Is that a robin at the top? They, everybody keeps calling her robin. It's a reference to her hair color, a bird. I don't know if that's a robin. No, we don't really learn anything, eh? Elias just tells us, just imagine it with your mind and you can purify this girl. Remember? It's like, we didn't use magic a single time. And Elias was like, just do it. Oh, just do it. One on each eye? Or the gem supposed to be the eye? Oh, he's singing again. Hold up, he can't sing the same song again two episodes in a row. Well, he can. Whoa, the hair! Oh, what? It's a raw, it's already it matches her hair too. Did not expect the hair to like fuse with the staff. Beautiful sunset color, just like your hair. It's a wand? I thought it's a staff. Interchangeable terms? One is shorter, one is longer? I don't know. This power! What? 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 How is she. Oh, just by touching the staff, she like transported the realms and now she's on a on a little swing. Oh. Yeah. Nevin! Because it's his branch, so his soul is somehow imbued into the staff together. Bond of fate. What, is Nevin like Chisei's inner <laughs> demon? Y you know, like in the shonen shows, like Naruto has the nine tailed fox, Ichigo has his inner hollow. <laughs> you know, like, is Nevin our, our spirit beast now inside? What's there to be happy about, Nevin? Mom says we should just die and kill herself. What do you want us to do about it? We need to get that flashback more. That, I think, is a good thing. If anything, this shows that Chisi really does care about Elias. Yeah. Because these are feelings that she would not feel if she was indifferent about everything and thought that this is all just pointless and she's just fine living here. It's because you're bonding more. He wouldn't throw you out, would he? He wouldn't. But she was scared if that Chise couldn't live to Elias' standards when using magic that maybe Elias would cast her out. That's some questions she directly asked. Well, to herself. No way, no way. I mean, he did murder that entire... No, he didn't murder them all. And that was a whole different reason. Doesn't mean that he would cast her out. No way. There was a one time in the darkness and he started salivating all over some bed. That did happen, but I don't think he would leave us. Might. You can't think like this. Oh, the abandonment issues from mom. What happened there? Why did the mom change so drastically? Why? Because they were able to meet together? I don't know. The mom and dad was clearly struggling. Yeah? You, you're glad she did that? I don't know. Why did she jump off the balcony? I mean, we, we don't know yet. True. She decided to kill herself. She didn't kill Chise, she decided to kill herself because deep down maybe there was something 
that still held on to her, even though she said she was a problem and a mistake. That did happen. Devin's last dream was all thanks to Chise. True! All these people are saved by you, and if your mom didn't hang herself, then this would have never happened? Is that the logic you're going with, Nevin? It's kind of morbid, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, she has... She has no value to herself. No, they're not worthless. No. Good point, Nevin. Good point. Kind of true. At least they just kind of put us up to it, but we still did it. Aww. See? Nevin's proud of you. You have some, so much more to live for. I thank your mother for killing herself so that you come here and show me my last dream, she said. I know he's not directly saying that, but it just kind of feels like it. Nevin is a great uh, therapist. He's, he's an excellent counselor. He really is telling Chisei everything she needs to hear. This is too deep for me, Nevin. Where are you going? Nevin, come back! Nevin, we can see you again, right? Is Nevin just gone? Was this a one-time thing that we get to see Nevin when touching the wand for the first time when it's activated? I hope we get to see, I don't know, more of Nevin in this different dimensional realm when we need him. I like him a lot. Yeah, Elliot's been waiting a long time. Where's Selkie? We gotta say goodbye to Selkie too. Nevin said to value her life and that he's happy that mom decided to kill herself. <laughs> I know he didn't say that, but it's just so ridiculous. That's a good smile. Ooh? What could it be? You are free. That's right. Nevin's words, that's right. Wait. We teleporting? We're not teleporting, right? I thought we take the dragon home. Uh, unless? Uh, everything is connected. We, we're free. We can do anything. That's what Nevin said. Is this actually gonna work? Where, where, are we, where are we going? We're flying. Without the dragon? Fire. And then? Oh, so many different neighbors helping us out because he's obviously a slave beggy. The wings of flame. She got flame wings now? Show me. Show me those like angel-like wings, but it's fire. Lindell seems very surprised. Holy shit, we like a phoenix! Now we're talking? Lindell, is this normal? Obviously not. This is sick. I thought we might actually just get like, I don't know, just like fire wings in the back and she would flap away. Turning into a phoenix itself? Holy shit. Oh, Wolverine. Even Lindell is super surprised by this. Damn! All right, we don't need your dragon. Goodbye. This is just a glimpse of what she can really do, right? Oh, look at this. What else could she do? I mean, Ellie said she can do anything. Although there are some things that we can't like uh, oppose the rules of this world. Something when she was like popping off during that moment when she got mad against that other sorcerer, right? That was bad, but we'll see more about that in the future. Man, I want to turn into a phoenix and start flying. What the fuck? I want to be a mage, man. This is the opening theme, I think. Usually opening themes play in anime during like a triumphant moment at the season finale or something. Where we're like beating some, I don't know, end boss. But this is the Chise flying. Using her wand for the first time. I think it's quite suitable. I wonder if she knows where her home is. I, I, I don't know. Okay, she found it. Elias, look! She's a phoenix now! Sheesh! This is directly from the uh, oh, uh, oh, anime opening! Yes! Yeah, this point! Oh, that line there, that's one of my favorite points in the uh, opening where it ends like that. I think it's so good. But that, but that direct animation is also from the anime opening. That's what the reference was. Hey, we can turn into a phoenix now. <laughs> hey. 
Come home the way you do. Yeah, we just casually turned into a phoenix and showed up here. What's up? Right. Used their magic. So it means that obviously. Oh. Missed you. But she said didn't use her own magic because then she'd be super tired. There's a difference between borrowing like different fairies and neighbors and their magic and using it. That's what being a sleep eggy is really advantageous of. Oh, where's Ruth? Wait, where's Ruth? Did we leave Ruth behind? I guess it still takes a bit of energy. I thought. Oh, there's Ruth. Yeah, also, does the wand help use magic in an efficient way? Like, I'm not completely sure what the wand actually does for magic, but yeah, she says she has something to tell him. What is it? Oh, he said he was really cold because, you know, Chiuse wasn't here before. <laughs> so he came running with the blanket. <laughs> She's great, too. Wait. More flashback with mom. Oh, did this mom turn into that person that told her she's a mistake? What happened? Also, mom can... Dad? We actually get to see what dad looks like. Because oh, dad is still alive. I wonder when he'll show up in the anime. Big sister. Huh. We, do we have... I forgot the details. I guess we have a little sibling. Oh, that was an actual good memory from the past. It, yeah, it wasn't like a... Because every time we have dreams about mom... Yeah, exactly. It's the crying moment where she jumps off the balcony. That was a good memory. Wonder what ha wonder why she's dreaming happy things now. Because she decided to move forward and took on Nevin's words. Well, technically, it is... Like, approaching summer now. Oh, I think we just gotta see Chisei butt crack. But this place is feeling more like home. I think that's what she's saying. Probably one of the happiest episodes so far. And that moment when she transformed into a phoenix with the help of the different fairies. God damn. What other things she can do? I don't know. It's gonna be really cool. The talk of the college does not happen. And she's still trying to tell Chisei, uh, Ellie something, right? Something that she had in mind. I'm not sure what that's gonna be. It's probably not an I love you. And Ellie said he feels two different emotions back then. We didn't really get what it was, but... I don't really know. Maybe it'll be in the future. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.